Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm the Gamers Digester, and well, you've been asking for it, so let's take a look. Now, one of the most common questions, or kind of just comments that I get on my channel, is at this price range, at this device size, at whatever, why not just get a smaller gaming laptop? And hopefully at the end of this video, you guys will have enough information to form your own opinion, which I would love to hear in the comments because that's what I'm giving you. Um, let's take a look. So what does this have that a gaming laptop doesn't have and vice versa? Well, this has a built-in controller. This has a nice sounding, nice sound system, very small, incredibly lightweight and very versatile. Now, you could probably say the same things for a laptop, but unless you guys have gamed recently on a gaming laptop, I personally, I, I don't think they're all that convenient. Uh, I've purchased one uh, when I was in high school, and I've used that throughout the years, and there's a reason why I have a handheld. Now, one of the most annoying things for me is the sound. And what I mean by sound is, one, the speakers on the Ally are just incredible. If you guys have it and you haven't tried them out, listen to some music, it'll blow your mind. These have Dolby Atmos and they sound fantastic. But with a gaming laptop, one of the things that I hated the most was whether I'm pulling it out in class or I'm just using it on a car ride or, or whatever. If there's people around me, the fans were so obnoxious. Now you can probably hear this running. I've got fours running in the background that I'm planning on playing here in a minute for you guys. Something to look at, you know. Um, but you can probably hear this probably times that by five or six, right? And that's what my gaming laptop, it's an MSI. It has a 1060 with an i5, nothing super crazy, but it, it, it really got the job done. It was incredibly loud. My fiance has a gaming laptop with a 2070 in it with it running an i7, incredibly loud. Now that was not a cheap gaming laptop. Now, neither was the other one that I got at the time. And they are just loud devices. There is a fix for that that will be coming in the in, in the next coming years. Uh, and I'm just kind of going to say, I told you so. Look out for it. It's called Froar. F-O-R-E. Not sponsored. They have no idea I exist. But if you guys are interested in tech, bro, go look at that. It is literally a SD, or a, sorry, a solid state cooling chip. It uses vibrations and it pumps air in through one side, it slams it against some copper and chucks it out the other side. It, it is a crazy, crazy innovation. We're Hopefully, if that doesn't get locked up by some company, that'll be in these devices. It's incredibly small, super power efficient. Again, not sponsored. I just find it absolutely fascinating that that is where things are headed. And I wish there was other aspects of this device that were really being innovated on. But right now, I'm so excited to see those come out in some laptops. They're already going to be coming out in some notebooks at the end of the year. So keep your eyes out for that and know I told you about them because they are incredibly cool. Again, that's F-O-R-E, Froar. Really weird name. Again, not sponsored. I just think they're fantastic. And I can't wait to see them in here because all the complaints that I have about noise will go away. They are silent. Now, with all that being said, one, the noise was a big issue. But one drawback from this is not having a keyboard. I mean, this is a Bluetooth keyboard, but I don't really want to haul this around with me. And the only real solution that we have at the moment is this. I mean, you can touch the screen. It kind of works. But if we're being real right now, I don't really know anyone who uses the Asus or any handheld for that matter for kind of work-related business or, or using Excel sheets or, or something like that. Hey, man, if you do, I would honestly love to hear about it because you are one fascinating specimen. I really don't know anybody who's... Uh, uh, like, uh, let's, let's get to work. Like I've got some time off. Let's, uh, let's pull out. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what you would do on this thing. Like that you would need a keyboard for. I know a lot of you guys might want to type some angry comments on this while you're out and about, but I, I really can't think of anything. Now, gaming needs keyboards. And that is something that is completely valid. There are tons of games on here that just don't really use joysticks. And that's where the Steam Deck did a really good job with their trackpads. There's two things that I think came out of that, just kind of side tangent. With them not including trackpads on this, they were able to make it smaller. For me, that's worse. I've got really big hands. I need something to hold on to. So them taking out the trackpads for me was kind of a, a negative. Um, I know I said these were novelties back in, in one of my older videos. I still kind of stand by that. But hey, if you're going to be doing work on here, 
something's better than nothing, am I right? I mean, who really is like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to use that trackpad for my laptop. Nobody wants that. So for as far as the mouse goes, I feel like laptops and this are in the same boat. Unless you have an external mouse, both of them are crap. Like, let's just be real here. They're, they're both bad. Now, the keyboards on, on a laptop, they're great for me. They always make my wrist kind of cramp. So every time I've used one as a stationary device, I always have like a Bluetooth keyboard like this one or a smaller, I have a Razer Huntsman Mini that, that I use because it just feels better on my hands. So as far as that kind of a, a, like physical hardware difference between this and a laptop, um, I mean, yeah, it's there. There is a keyboard there. There is a mouse there. But this is so far, I feel like this is winning by quite a bit here. Um, both the laptop and this battery life, if you're gaming on both, they're both going to be bad. So uh, it, it really is just, well, take a portable battery. And if you're going to do that for the laptop, then you can do that for this too. They're both portable, so you can take it for both devices. It's not necessarily... I, I just kind of find this argument stupid, if I'm being honest. Like, everyone who says just go buy a laptop is maybe coping because they have one and they don't want to find a reason to purchase this device. That's that's something that I really see a lot of. And it, it's not just exclusive to this. If somebody went out and purchased an Xbox One and the Xbox Series S or X came out, they're probably going to cope a little bit and, and give reasons as to why the Series X is actually an inferior device when... I mean, let's be honest, it, it isn't, you know? I'm sure you guys have met people like that before. So I hope this video doesn't turn into me kind of just dissing on those people. I don't mean it to be. I, I'm trying to address this, con this conversation seriously, but I mean, come on, like a 15 inch gaming laptop. I can't even fit it on the screen here like that. Like at least, right? If it's like a, a 15 inch, like the one that I most commonly see, like a bigger screen, that is gigantic. They're heavy. Unless you're spending like $2,000 plus on that. I'm, what I'm talking about is a $700 comparable gaming laptop, right? Because that's what you were trying to compare to the device. So if we're looking at $700 gaming laptops, I don't know about you. Go go look those up. You're looking at a 1060, maybe a, a really bad 3050 or something like that. You're, you'll be getting some decent performance at 1080p with like DLSS on, but... Like, I don't know, for $700, if I had to pick and choose, if you already have a gaming rig, there's no, there's no contest. This is so cool. And you can plug a keyboard and mouse into this, Like you can, which you're already probably going to be doing with the laptop anyways. So you might as well just throw that argument out the window. I know this this has been kind of going all over the place and I and I hope you guys have found this at least a little bit entertaining. I just I want the comments to stop no more, right? And of course there'll be a million after this video. And I, I really don't care, but the argument just get a laptop. I wish I could like compile all the comments. There's literally probably been a hundred. And they're responding to other people saying, I love my device. I think this has been a great purchase. I have had no issues. And I just think it's a bunch of people trying to to justify themselves. Um, I really don't even know what else to compare. I'm going to like this has a 120 hertz display that's equal or or better than some other laptops that you can purchase. I really don't know what else to say. Um, I think I might just end the video here. If you guys want to fight in the comments, I would love to watch that unfold. Um, keep it keep it uh, kind of civil down there, but if you guys have enjoyed the video, I would encourage you guys to subscribe. There's a lot of this kind of bull crap content that I make where I just kind of just kind of talk to you guys. I enjoy making videos like this. Uh, there, there's so much professional content that's out there with incredible edits and, and real nice studio production. It just gets kind of old to me sometimes. If I'm on my break, I, I, I might just want to listen to somebody. So I, I usually will watch Twitch, but not everybody likes to watch Twitch. So that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, discussion, whatever you want to call it, I, I really encourage you to subscribe, stick around. We've got a lot more coming. Um, I just filmed, uh, right before this actually, I filmed a video of me talking about uh, kind of a buyer's guide, if, if, if this device was worth it. And if that's something that you'd be interested in, I encourage you guys to go check that out as well. But with all that being said, 
I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. I know it's been a long one, but the weekend is here. Let's go. And uh, just game on, guys. Peace out.